Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Leviticus chapter 8. This chapter deals about the instructions for consecrating Aaron, Moses cleansing the temple, Moses consecrating Aaron and his sons. As we go through this chapter and meditate, may the Lord help us to speak to our hearts and minds and help us to understand this chapter. In this chapter in verse 1 and 2 describe the eight-day ordination ceremony for high priest Aaron and his sons. As a God-chosen priest, they had to accept three responsibilities. Firstly, submitting to God's authority. Secondly, revealing God's glory. Thirdly, accepting God's discipline. Many times in these three chapters, you will find the word commanded. Moses and Aaron did not have to create an ordination ceremony. The same God who instructed Moses how to build the tabernacle also told him how to ordain the priest and how the priest should serve in the tabernacle. Nothing was left to chance or to imagination. Moses was to do everything according to what God has shown him in the mountain. In verse 6, we see the priests were ceremonially bathed all over but once. From then, they washed their hands and feet at a lever while they were serving in the tabernacle. When sinners trust in Christ, they wash their sins once and for all. God's children need to keep their feet clean by confessing their sins to the Lord. In the Bible, water for washing is a picture of God, Word of God. As we meditate on the Word of God and apply it to our lives, the Spirit of God uses the Word to cleanse us and make us more like unto the image of Christ. From verse 7 to 13, we see each believer priest had been clothed in the beauty and righteousness of Jesus Christ and is accepted in Him. Our righteous deeds are like filthy rags in God's sight. The high priest was accepted before God because of the garments God provided in His grace. Next we see in verse 14 and 15, it was necessary that blood be shed before God could accept Aaron and his sons as servants in his holy tabernacle. Because he is the holy son of God, Jesus Christ our high priest needed no such sacrifice. Instead, he is the one perfect sacrifice that takes away the sin of the whole world. The next point we see, anointing. God chose and set apart the descendants of Abraham from all the peoples of the earth. They were holy in their identity as the children of God and holy in their calling as the people of God. Among the, among the Israelites, God designated the tribe of Levi to serve in tabernacle. And within this tribe, Aaron and his sons were appointed priests. They were not perfect men. They were sinful and indeed of the same ongoing cleansing and covering with their service facilitated for others. And Aaron was inaugurated as a mediator to instruct and facilitate worship, sacrifices and the yearly observance God required. Aaron's position was foreshadowing of God's permanent high priest, Jesus Christ. Aaron was anointed with oil, but God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy Spirit and power. Jesus combines in his person the offices of high priest, king and prophet, so he is the anointed one, which is the meaning of the names Messiah and Christ. The next point we see, Christ, the perfect high priest. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 13, we see that he was clothed with a garment down to the feet and girded about the chest with a golden band. And in Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26, we see, For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and has become higher than heavens. Jesus Christ is our perfect priest. He is also pure and purifying. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire, as described in Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Dear beloved, as the Lord is speaking through this chapter, let's be reminded 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. May the Lord bless your short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak through the book of Leviticus. Amen.